everyone, it's Miss here, and today we're going to be working in the Marguerite Miller, uh, my collage challenge, uh, my Moleskine sketchbook. Um, we are, believe it or not, on week 36. So week 36 is uh, fall weather, a quote, something that represents time, stars, something sharp, and a bonus is washi tape. So I kind of thought all of those prompts fit quite well with the coming of fall, autumn. Um, the day's getting darker, stars coming out um, longer in the night, um, you know, time moving on. So my whole theme is kind of around uh, fall. So. I'm going to start, as I usually do, and put down um, my background, and I've chosen um, some of the fall colors, those lovely uh, oranges, and I'm not really an orange kind of color person, but, um, but I do like the fall colors. And then, so is take uh, these last signatures out and, make, and do them on the side and then glue them back in later. Uh, that, that's an option. Um, so we're just going to get some background papers down, these luscious fall colors. I, I am obsessed with pumpkins. I always have been. I don't know why. I just like that they're round and orange and I can't see the edge of my page here. Let's get that straightened up in there. Okay. And then I just want another one kind of to grow, go across the top up here. Okay, and then for my fall weather, I have a couple things. I have this little road, and here in Nova Scotia, you typically see kind of a lot of leaves over the road and stuff if we've had a particularly windy. Uh, windy day and it does look like it's been a bit damp so that that kind of reminds me of um, fall weather and um, you know lots of leaves on the ground is an indication I guess of fall more so than fall weather but the leaves don't start to die and change and until we get those cooler days it's something in the in the tree I guess in the makeup of the tree um, but then I, th I really liked this I image and yes, this probably could be a summer day, um, but it just reminded me of how the sky and stuff looks on those fall days. Um, so I thought I would use all of those images um, in some way or another. And then um, for my something sharp, I have an ax, which kind of reminds me of getting the winter, getting the, the wood ready for the wood stove. And, you know, you oftentimes you do it all year round if, if you if you only have a wood stove. Um, there was a point in my life that we only had a wood stove. And so we were, you know, preparing all year long for the winter. But um, it's definitely something that you do in the fall is, is chop up wood. Um, so I wanted to get that down in some way. This is going to be actually in the crease of the page, but I think that's okay. So I'm going to get that down, at least in the center. Today we've had a gorgeous day um, outside. <clears throat> it is um, the end of August that I'm filming this, and it is very crisp, um, and it just reminds me of of an autumn day. Okay, so I kind of want that. I think I want this this bit maybe around here. I am just using some Elmer's glue, and that really um, does well with paper on paper, especially for like a collage book. Um, it if you are worried about having wrinkles in your paper then, um, you know, a water-based glue like this PVA glue probably isn't your best bet, but um, I'm not that worried. I do want that kind of tucked underneath there. 
And then I was thinking I would put that up top. So actually, I'm going to pull that down a little bit. Oh, and I want to create a tuck spot for my prompt. So I'm just going to put glue around the edge. And I like to keep my prompt with the layout so that later on down the road, I'll be able to pull my prompt out, especially as I probably won't be able to remember what, uh, what all the prompts are. And then I'll have that to hand. Okay, so we've got our something sharp down. And I'm just going to put down our winter weather. We'll put that up top. And I think the colors all um, look good there as well. They're all kind of the same tones and, and stuff. Okay, and then on this side, I think I'll just lay that down. Just going maybe up along the page, like so. And then for my quote, I had a quote that uh, is a William Shakespeare quote. And it says, the earth has music uh, for those who listen. And I kind of like that because, again, it had some of those fall colors. Um, I wasn't really that keen on all that white space. So I had kind of thought I might just use uh, some of my antique linen just to go around the edge a little bit, just to make that blend more into my, my collage page. And uh, and I do like that better. Just do some here on the bottom. So I'll put that down. All right. And so then my my um, something that represents time is I've been hanging on to this image that I found of this uh, pocket watch that I quite really liked, and I thought that now is the time. Haha, <laughs> now is the time. So I'm gonna get my quote down. And we'll get that tucked up over here. I think, I think that would go well there. And then we'll get our timepiece down. I don't know where I got this image, but I've been holding on to it in my little scrap of images, so I thought now's the time. Okay, so I think we've got our main bits. So I then, except for the stars, and I do have some stars here that I cut out with my um, punches. I've got a couple punches there. And I just used some foil paper and I also cut a couple banners. Now, I am going to add a bit of washi, but I want it to put some banner down. And I'm kind of liking maybe up there, because then it kind of brings the colors around the page a bit. So... Yeah, I'm going to put that up there. So I'm just going to put these up at the top and then because down at the bottom in that pattern paper that I've got there, there is some gold. Then I thought I would put the stars up in this top left corner because then it kind of brings the gold from this corner. I don't know if you can see that that well, but there's some gold foiling there. It brings it up kind of across the page. So I was liking that. I was liking the thought of that. So I just want to, there's some glue on that foil. Let me get that off. Because with this Elmer's glue, which is what I'm using, it, it does dry clear, but it dries matte. So it would you'd be able to see the little piece of mat there. And then I'm going to use my 
tweezers because I find it hard. Some arthritis in my hands, and I find it kind of hard to grip and glue um, little images. And one of these is sparkly, and one is flat. So I'm kind of liking that, and it does kind of catch the light a bit. Okay. So the other thing I found in my stash was the saying that just says, I love fall weather. Um, and I thought it was fitting for this, for this spread. So we'll stick that down there. And then I went and pulled out, sorry for reaching, a bunch of my washi tapes. And I thought, well, just to get things embellish it a bit, I thought I would go to my tapes. So this one here, I've had this a long time. I think I got it like, I don't know, I'm going to say the dollar store, but years ago dollar store when it was really a dollar store. And there's all kinds of leaves, leaves on it. So I, I liked that. I'm going to pull that off. I was thinking right there would be cool. So I'm going to stick that down in there. So I kind of liked that. And then I liked this saying here. This one here says, be kind always. And it's hard to see that, but uh, give thanks. Um, let light shine. Press forward. But I think I'll take it to here which is be kind, uh, be kind always, and give thanks. That's going to go off the page a bit. And so I think I will, get my scissors, just cut a wee little bit off this end, and a bit off this end, and then it should, it should fit well. And if I have to hack a little bit off the end, that's fine. Okay, so I kind of like that. And then I wanted to cover um, uh, this up a bit with doing some strips. So this one here has words as well. I got this one at Michael's. And this one is so blessed love amazing but i want to put so blessed because you know even though the days sometimes have their hardships especially with the pain and whatnot there is lots to be thankful for so i kind of like that there but i still need to put a few strips down here i love this brown and white polka dots it reminds me of uh, in the movie Pretty Woman when they were at the polo scene. She had a dress, I believe, that was brown with white polka dots. And so this kind of reminded me of Julia Roberts. So maybe we'll stick that in there and then we'll get a little bit of bling going there. I'm not sure if I really like that there though. I think it would be better up here and I think it would be better like you see in the old picture books when you're just kind of tacking down your um, your picture. If I could lift that up without tearing it then it would look like it would look like that which I kind of like. Yeah, I like that better. So sometimes if you don't really like something, it's all good. Just don't commit yourself. I think I might want to move that to, um, to down the page here. Because this one here is just some arrows, which I like. And we'll put that there. 
and then so blessed. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, and I still have a little here. Um, so then here are just some little crosses and they match the same colors as what's in here. So what if we put that down there? Yeah, I kind of like that. It's kind of hidden a little bit in the, in the spine and the shadow. But I did have a couple bling, a couple of pieces of bling though that I wanted to get down. So I have this, I have some browns and some of these colors, which I thought would go with the layout spread. And I like that brown. I can't seem to find the edge though. So for those of you who are doing the challenge as well, how are you guys finding it? It definitely is uh, marking the passage of time. Um, and do you think that you will do it ne uh, next year or was it just an experiment for this year? I kind of like that there. Cause that gives me a little bling. Now I just need a little a little bling, a little more bling bling up there. What about if we, if we put that down there? All right, and then I love that copper, metallic copper. Metallic copper is so pretty. As well as, um, I like rose, go rose gold too. Our leaves here will soon be our maple trees. Well, I say soon, it's not going to be next week, but um, I do like the fall colors as far as the maple trees and when you look down, especially if you're up on a hill and you kind of look down in, into a valley or we have the Rodden Hills, which aren't that far from me, or the, um, the Cape Breton Highlands, um, people come from all over the world to go along the Cabot Trail. I can't find the end of that one, so we'll move on. But I got a little piece of that anyway. Um, cruises will come into Hel uh, Halifax in the autumn. They're very popular. And uh, and then they have excursions off to the Cabot Trail, which is about, oh gosh, it's, it's, a, it's pretty much an overnight trip. Um, I think to get to the bottom of the Cabot Trail from here is about four hours. And then to go all the way around, it it's, takes take some time, but the heights in the highlands are beautiful. And you're looking down onto the Atlantic and it's all forested, so you get all those um, awesome colors. Um, but I'm kind of thinking, kind of thinking that I'm doing more chatting than, than uh, collaging. Because I do really want another piece of this, but I just... Sometimes, oh, there it is. It's about being patient. And sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes my patience run thins, runs thin. Um, okay, well, I think we've got it all. We have our weather. We have our quote. We have something that represents time. We have our stars in the southern sky. And something sharp and washi tape. So I hope you enjoyed that. I I think it was a little bit chaotic, uh, this one, um, as far as I seem to be all over the place. Um, but if you did like it, please give me a like, and I would love for you to subscribe. Um, thank you so much for those of you who have subscribed and for your support and encouragement. It does mean a lot. Um, please leave me a comment. And um, until next time, I hope you have a safe uh, week. And bye for now.